Well, over 50% of eligible Canadians are now fully vaccinated. But as shots continue, a lot of people wondering how current vaccines are going to hold up against some very dangerous variants and when our younger population will be able to roll up their sleeves. Joining me now, Patricia Gauthier, General Manager of Moderna Operations here in Canada. Good morning to you, Patricia. Good morning, Melanie. Thank, Thank you very much for having me this morning. Thank you so much for joining today. So let's uh, begin here uh, where things stand with Moderna in Canada. Um, currently, the other mRNA vaccine is for available for 12 plus in Canada. It's not that yet for Moderna, only 18 plus. Where do approvals lay? So we did submit early June. We submitted our file for adolescent um, indication to Health Canada. So Health Canada is currently reviewing the file and we're waiting to hear back from them to be able to offer the Moderna vaccine to all Canadians 12 years and older. Okay, indeed, that's something that we've been watching very closely, and that would help with a rollout indeed. But as we look to 12 above, we're also looking under 12 because trials are beginning. So what can you share with us uh, when it comes to the younger population? Yes, yeah, so we did start our Kids Cove trial um, several months ago, and this is ongoing at this point. It's a phase two, phase three trial in the six months to under 12 years of age. We will have sites in Canada. We're still working on finalizing this, uh, but the, the clinical trial will include um, Canadians as well. So great news here in terms of making sure that as many Canadians and um, people around the world can be protected against COVID-19. Patricia, what would a trial look like for someone who perhaps, I know you, you're saying it's just getting going for those who want to take part in Canada. What would it look like? So usually, I mean, clinical trials, you'll, you'll have um, people getting vaccinated for younger population. We'll start with um, the older ones, and then we try different doses. It's very closely monitored. There's a lot of safety around it. And then we, you know, make sure that we generate the data that will be uh, able to support a submission to regulatory uh, authorities around the world to get the indication that we are looking for. So in this in this case, it would be in the six months to 12 years of age uh, population. Okay, indeed, it's going to take a little bit of time. It's not going to happen tomorrow. A lot of people were looking exactly. ahead to the September school year, but a lot of things are in place to ensure this is done safely. It does take, correct me if I'm wrong, a little bit longer with trials for the younger population than it does adults. It does, indeed. I mean, it takes more time because we need to, um, you know, have the right patient population enrolled and then we look we start with the older ones and then there's a dose um, escalation and also a de uh, age de-escalation so it takes a bit more time because you have a few more uh, parallel processes that have to happen okay all that to make sure that you know it's very safe and done according to highest standards patricia when will we learn more about what's happening in canada and if anyone would like to participate so we're currently working on finalizing the Canadian sites uh, and we'll have more information to share about this uh, shortly. It will be uh, posted on our websites and then we'll make sure to share the information with um, all the sites. We'll also be starting to recruit when uh, things are finalized. Okay. How concerned is Moderna right now with the variants, specifically the Delta variant and uh, the effectiveness of the vaccine right now? Yeah, so that's a great question. COVID-19 is a virus that continues um, mutating. And we always continue monitoring the um, response of our vaccine against these different um, variants of concerns. So we generate data. The delta we generated against the, the delta variant shows that our vaccine remains very effective. The response remains high. But we also want to be at the forefront. Moderna committed to really fighting the pandemic and being at the forefront, developing vaccines as is needed. So as we continue monitoring and we have very good data supporting the effectiveness of our vaccine with two doses against the Delta variants, we are also working on a booster strategy to make sure that should there be a need that we will have a booster or we will adapt our vaccine uh, to respond to these variants of concerns. That's the, that's the benefits of the mRNA platform that really brings uh, rapidity of response, but also adaptability. Yeah, I think a lot of people were concerned, at least in the beginning, that these vaccines rolled out very quickly. That being said, a lot of the research had already been done, was ongoing, and continues to go, like you said, with the booster shots, right? Exactly. So, I mean, Moderna is an 11-year-old company, and we 
we are the experts in mRNA. We were the first company to start clinical trials for vaccines, for mRNA vaccines, more than six years ago. So there was a lot of expertise to build upon. There was a lot of learnings that were clearly um, incorporated into the development of the COVID-19 vaccine. And I can assure you that regulatory bodies around the world and here in Canada worked extremely diligently, extremely hard, but that every safety protocols and processes were followed and no corners were turned. So I think this is really something to be proud of in terms of agility of response, but also making sure that we followed all the safety protocols and really brought very rigorous um, products to market. Okay, and we will stay tuned for some of the trials here in Canada for those under 12 and as well for the approval from Health Canada for 12 and above. This is Patricia Gauthier from Moderna. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you very much for having me. Have a great day. You too. Uh, really interesting to hear the science here, Frankie. Let's bring you in now.